Hi, Jet English. Today is June 13th. Now I'm going to talk about two things. First one is how to board game. And I will give you one technique for shy people. If you are a shy person or you are introverted or you feel uneasy when you bargain for a price, or, or if you don't bargain at all, so it will be helpful for you. What is bargaining? Bar bargaining is an attempt to increase the price. So when you're shopping, let's say, on the market, on the flea market, and uh, you see that you see a good thing you want to buy, but the price is very high and you want to decrease it, not increase, decrease the price, you want a better offer for yourself. So the technique, the negotiation, when you talk to a vendor, to a seller, it's called bargaining or haggling. So I'll give you one technique that I used even though I'm a shy person, I don't like this process. I stay away from it as much as possible. But still, I got some good deals. Okay, I think they were good. They were better than initial offers. And also, I'll, I'll give you a link to the article that I read just before this video. How to Bourguet, the professional on Wiki. How. And also, I'll tell you about Close Store, what's happening now. Uh, now we're officially allowed to go out. So people, uh, people dash to the stores and restaurants and there are huge lines and we'll talk about it too. So first thing, first technique, how to bargain. Well, I don't like it. I don't like it. So why? I think, I think there is something wrong with that. Oh, so it shows that you are a, you know, a mean person, a greedy person. So you don't want other people to, to to make money. So I think it's rude. But you know, I changed my mind. I think it's okay. A lot of people bargain, even rich people. I believe Donald Trump said something about bargaining. That, that he's always bargaining, no matter what, no matter what what shop he's going to, or what store he's going to, even in you no know, fashionable shop malls. Um, so it's okay, and I agree with that now. So there is nothing wrong with that, but still, well, when you understand something and and so you have to do it, it's kind of different to know something and to do it, to accept it on a very deep level. And well, what I started to do is I just ask people for for a less price, for a smaller price, and it's easy. It's easy if you buy something, just ask. Um, are there any discounts for me, or can I buy it for a little bit, uh, for a little bit smaller price? So that's it. And sometimes they say no. I think there is something fear of rejection here because if you ask and they say no, and they say, "Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I can't give it to you. I can't give you a better price." So you feel uh, very bad. So you feel rejected. But it's okay. Just be aware that it can be. It can happen, so nothing, nothing really bad happened if they say no to you. So it's not a problem. Just be ready, just be ready for that, and just ask this one question, just one question: uh, Can can I bargain the price, or can you, um, can I have a discount, or do you have any discounts for me? Something like that. Just ask this question and say it like you don't mean it really. You're just you no, know, just interested. That's it. And they usually do discounts. I mean, the, it's it's not everywhere that you can bargain. For example, in like supermarkets or in on or in malls, you can't do it, right? You have the price, you have to pay for it, no matter how high it is or how low it is. It doesn't matter. But uh, you know, in markets, flea markets, on Avito, for example, on uh, used stores. Well, you can do it easily. You can ask for the a smaller price, for the better offer. So yeah, this is the technique. Just for example, when I bought, remember in one of the previous videos, I'll tell you how I bought these four books and they cost me 1000 each. So 1000, 1000, it's 4000 rubles in total. And I just ask, I just ask, uh, do you have any discounts or can you lower the price for me? And they say, okay, 10%. So 10% was 400 rubles, 400 rubles. I earned 400 rubles just by asking this one 
little question that didn't didn't take me any effort at all so you can try this technique but again be ready that people might refuse no big deal and uh, yeah but you know what now i think i'm ready for a better performance i found this i found this article and i'll link it in, in the description below so we can read this article and we can how um and it articles provides very good techniques very good ideas how to bargain especially if you travel a lot you can use these techniques uh wherever you're going and try it and then you'll thank thank me thank me later okay so yeah i think i'll try to apply some of the methods from this article for example what i found especially particularly interesting is that well first of all don't show your appreciation with the product so don't telegraph don't telegraph your excitement when you see something you're like wow 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 this product is so good i like it it's unbelievable it's so cool and a vendor sees this and he has an upper hand in this negotiation it means he has better conditions and it's it will be more difficult for you to negotiate to bargain the price so be cool like be calm don't show your emotions yeah i think i have this problem and uh, also it says that it's a good thing to to cut the price by 30 percent initial offer uh, from the initial offer so for example let's say you see product for 1000 rubles and you can easily say 700 rubles well that's it uh so don't be don't be f afraid to go away to walk away if it's needed and when a vendor and a seller sees that you're going away you're going to go away well he immediately accepts the offer because he doesn't want to lose money so yeah i think i'll reread this article when i go out somewhere and i'll try it because i'm ready for something more than just asking one question i think it's it's cool it's fun let's do it now another thing well yesterday yeah i went out for a very long out for a very long time i was at home didn't go anywhere and yesterday i decided to go out and i thought maybe i maybe i go to a uh, shop or uh, for shopping i go to um, to the market and i go to the went to the market and it's okay i bought something i bought new sunglasses and then i decided to go to a clothes store and they say that they have cool discounts i decided to to stop by and when i get when i got closer i saw a huge line outside outside of the building and it was like unbelievable okay i can't i can understand when people stand in line for you know mcdonald's or in a, in a restaurant because people you know people go away from the line very quickly they just buy something they just place an order they get it and they go away but line for a closed store i really didn't get this point so you have to wait actually for each person you know to go there to go there to find his like piece of clothes then to try it on then to go again and then to pay for it and then when he goes away only then like they let you in wow so maybe they had limited amount of time for each customer maybe for five minutes for each but still there was a huge line for 15 people outside just on a you know on a pay walk so they blocked you know the the, the movement of passengers so they blocked the road uh because they they stayed perpendicular to the to the road well, it's unbelievable and of course i didn't stand there and i just went home that's it that's it for today very interesting story right i hope you like it hope you enjoyed it so check the link in the description if you want to know more about bargaining like a pro like a professional okay these are just basic techniques but i think it might save you, you know a couple of thousand next time you go on a trip so thank you guys i think i'll see you in the next video bye